How you doing YouTubers, fellow air gunners? Uh, today we'll be doing a updated video on my MROD Air CP1M. Uh, as you can see here, I polished the barrel and the main air tube out. I reshaped and polished the probe. I uh, did some valve work. I uh, opened up the transfer port. And a few other little things inside. So. It was getting about 400 and something <clears throat> before the mods. So uh, let's see what we get today. We got the chrono set up and we got seven shots loaded up. 14.3 grain hollow points. So here we go. Let's uh, take the first shots and see what we get over the chrono. All right, shot one. We got uh, 495. Okay. Shot two. Sorry for all the movement on the camera. Actually, let's just go ahead and focus on the crony while we do this. And uh, you brought you guys can see a little better there. All right. Shot number two. It's definitely a lot louder. Shot number three. Got a five oh nine. Shot number four, I believe. Five fifteen. Shot number six. Five sixteen. Uh, last and final shot. Five thirteen, pretty consistent. So, um, looks like my mods got me about, I don't know, eighty to ninety FPS. So, um, you can play with this. Uh, I did similar mods like you would do to the Crossman twenty two forty. I angled the uh, transfer, uh, angled the valve port. I got opened up and polished the transfer port, barrel port, breech port. Made sure they were matched all the same uh, diameter. Polished them out real nice. Uh, polished the probe and reshaped it to where it's thinner in the front so it allow more flow and uh, air volume. And uh, that's about it. Um, Ah, and hammer spring. I added a small, uh, a secondary spring to the hammer. As I, I just don't have anything in my uh, spares that exactly fit the hammer spring length. There is a guy on uh, line, TR Rob. He sells a lot of aftermarket parts for this. Um, and, uh, he has some, uh, like a set, it's three, three sets of uh, different springs for this that you can play with. He also has a set of three different transfer ports that you can play with. So, uh, yeah, definitely look him up, trrob.com. So there you have it. I gained about 90, 80 to 90 FPS with the mods I've done. I'm pretty much done with it. Um, I do have the I do have the uh, 17 and a half inch barrel that comes on the CP2. I, I'll switch that out and see what uh, see see how much else it jumps up to. 
Uh, matter of fact, let me go ahead and get it now, switch it out, and uh, we'll see uh, how much more FPS we can squeeze out of this with a longer barrel. All right, guys, I'm back. I've switched the barrel out to the 17 and a half inch. Looks really funny. Uh, but I plan on doing a, this is going to be a bottle, baby. I plan on doing my conversion. And I'll have a bottle that comes out to about right here. So it'll take up some of this empty space. Um, and I'm having some grips done. Blood wood. They're going to have some finger grooves real nice. Those will be coming. Um, and that should be pretty much it for this. Let's go ahead. I got seven more shots loaded up. It is really hot out here. Um, plus, I don't want to get valve lock or anything. This gun been sitting here for a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and get these seven shots over to Cronny and uh, see what improvements the 8-inch barrel, or 17-inch uh, barrel did. Um, I do have the CP1, uh, CP2 just came in today. That's how I got the barrel. So I'll be doing a chronograph on that soon. Uh, out of the box review and a chronograph to see exactly what we're getting. Should be similar results to this stock. So here we go. First shot with the 17 inch barrel and moderator. 653. Awesome. And I don't hear a peep out of this. This is quiet as a mouse fart. Let's check it out. 653. Very consistent. Shot number three. Six fifty one. Man, this moderator is nice. I've been hearing a lot of complaints about it. it's no good, but I, I, I mean it quiets it down a lot tremendously. Here we go, another shot. I mean you can't even hear that. It sounds just like a, a small spring going off. Six forty seven. So it looks like you get about another hundred and. 40 FPS just with the barrel alone and then if you do the mods that I've done on top of that this is what you'll get about 650 or so here we go 641 let's do one more Six forty-three, very very consistent. So it's awesome. All right, that was the last shot. So uh, six fifty, six forty, not bad.